The first lesson is taken from Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 5. God creates light and separates it from darkness. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light. And there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Beloved in Christ, as we prepare this Advent to celebrate the birth of the Christ child, let us hear again in the words of the scriptures the story of God's loving purpose in our creation and redemption. Let us bring to mind the goodness of God in calling the creation into his light, God's mercy in Christ Jesus in drawing us from the darkness of sin, and God's grace to us and to all sinners in summoning us by his Holy Spirit as the dawn of God's kingdom breaks upon us. But first, let us pray for ourselves and for all people, acknowledging before God our sins and the sins of the world, lifting up our needs and the needs of those who dwell in the darkness of sickness, injustice, want, and fear, commending to God especially those who live without the hope which we have in our Savior, Jesus Christ. These prayers we offer in the words which Christ himself taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
The second lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 through 9. The prophet foretells the coming of God's kingdom. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge out of the sight of his eyes, neither reprove out of the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf, and the young lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The third lesson is taken from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. The angel Gabriel announces to Mary that she is to bear a son, Jesus. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaiden of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
fourth lesson is taken from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. John the Baptist announces the coming of Christ. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle around his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea, and all the region around Jordan, and were baptised of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the tree. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptise you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptise you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The fifth lesson is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. The parable of the wise and foolish virgins. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore. For ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The sixth lesson is taken from the revelation of St. John the Divine, chapters 21 and 22, which tells of the seer who sees the new Jerusalem and hears the church's plea for her Lord's return. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there will be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of nations. And he said unto me, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst, Come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and
the ancient collect for Advent Sunday. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put on us the armour of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life, in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, now and for ever. Amen. Take us, we beseech thee, O Lord our God, watchful and heedful in awaiting the coming of thy Son, Christ our Lord, that when he shall come and knock, he may find us not sleeping, but awake and rejoicing in his praises. Amen. The Blessing Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no man evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Ghost and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.
Hello. Can everybody hear me okay? Using the microphone on the camera so it might not be super, super clear. It never is anyway. I really hope you enjoyed tonight's um, uh, Advent Virtual Church. Uh, thank you all so much for uh, watching and tuning in. And thank you all to um, the readers, the six readers, um, and, uh, as well as uh, Valerie and to, uh, to Phil for uh, the, the prayers and the service. Thank you to Caroline as well for singing the plain song. And thank you all to you for uh, joining me this evening. That was, of course, the uh, first movement of the very famous organ symphony by Charles-Marie Vidor, uh, made famous, of course, by the uh, final movement, the Toccata. That's the first movement, and I think that's a, a far better composition. I wondered whether uh, you guys would just like um, 20 minutes or so of, uh, of hymns. <laughs> now, how we're going to do that, I'm not quite sure, because there's a massive lag. Because we're streaming in 4K tonight, there's about a half a minute uh, lag on what I say and what you hear. So if you like some Advent hymns, um, I will very, very happy, happily um, give them to you. How about, um, I've got the, um, a chat window here, um, I can probably just about see what you're saying, just about see what you're saying. Um, if you want any particular hymns, um, let me know and I will do my best to include it. So we'll finish, let's say we we'll finish at uh, on the hour, so wherever you are in the world, um, we'll finish on the hour. What would you like guys? I'm going to go to my NEH and um, go to <laughs> um, the, uh, 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 what do you call it, the Advent section. That's a good place to start, isn't it? So tonight we had um, the wonderful uh, Guildford Cathedral Choir. I'm very grateful uh, to those guys for allowing me to use their music. Um, you guys should know the cathedral by now, um, because I, I, went, I, I went there to record Richard Moore, the organist, earlier in the year uh, for an organ recital. So I think you should know it now. And the acoustic is humongous, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna play now, hark a voice. Hark a voice is calling. Christ is nigh, it seems to say. Cast away the dreams of darkness, O ye children of the day. I need to remember to mute this microphone. It's all manual labor tonight, because this is unplanned. Um, here we go, so, uh, Helmsley. Haven't we just had Helmsley? <laughs> I think I've muted the wrong microphone. I've muted the uh, organ. <laughs> That's rubbish. Here we go.
got the world's smallest iPhone here, so the chat is just unbelievably small. Um, and Antino, longing for light. The only problem is, and Antino, I only have accessible that and that. I don't think it's in there. However, the next request, uh, people look east from uh, from Theo, is in here somewhere. Where is it? Sure, it's in here, isn't it? People look east. Come on, it's in here. I know it's in here. Maybe is it in here? I'm, I'm certain it is. Uh, let's have a look. If anyone give me a, a, a home number in this in, in any age, that would be terrific. I don't think it is actually. I thought it was. Is it in here? Perhaps. Um, I can't believe we're in Advent already. This is just utterly ridiculous. Utterly. It doesn't seem two minutes since we were here. Um, I can't find it, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, Hills of the North, Mitchell. Yes, we've got that one. That's in here, definitely. And that's, a, that's, a, that's an absolutely brilliant, uh, brilliant. And this is called Little Cornard. Let's have this one. This is great fun. Where's the mute button? I need to do it with my mouse. Actually, this is a bittersweet moment for us all. This is the last time you will see this organ um, live. And actually, this will be the last time that it's been used, beauty and sound. That is very sad. <laughs> this for me, at least, anyway, it's done, it's done us very, very proud. It's done me very, very proud. I've learned a lot of music on this organ. And I will be very, very deeply sad to see it go, but I'm um, very happy that it's going to a very good home. Uh, the young organist is based up in the north of England um, and is a, an organ student, basically, pre-university. So he was going to um, be using it to prepare for his organ scholarships, 
he's hoping for Oxbridge as an organ scholar. Uh, so this organ will do him a lot of good and will help him um, on his organ travels and his organ career. So that's um, really nice to, um, to know that it's going to help um, a young organist. How about we have someone um, asked, I think it was Ian asked for Vakit uh, Au, um, Waco Waco Tidings Thrilling. Yes, this is um, um, a wonderful hymn. You, you heard the Bach, I saw there, was a, there was a slip in that. I'm really sorry about that, that slip. Um, it was, um, it's how he exposed that piece. It's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, but don't underestimate it's, it, it's uh, difficulty though. <laughs> Uh, verse 1, uh, raise high your torches bright, alleluia, the wedding song swells loud and strong, go forth and join the festal throng. Let's have Wachit um, auf Ruft uns die Stimme, of course harmonised by um, our favourite composer J.S. Bach. So let me know actually in the chat. Uh, what you think about this organ. We are in uh, the, um, it's called a composite set of uh, saint Ouen in France. Um, and if uh, you've looked at the, the um, brochure or the order of service for today, you will see that I've actually announced uh, the organ recitalist who will be giving the inaugural recital on the new organ. Uh, and I'm mentioning that because he's playing uh, the Vidor 9, Vidor's Ninth Symphony, the entire symphony. Um, and it's based on a Christmas plain song, that's why he's playing it. And the organist is Martin Baker. I'm very, very excited to have Martin Baker in this very room, an international um, organist um, of great reputation. He's going to improvise on Advent themes for us as well. So, um, you better believe it, it's going to be fantastic.
turned on. Oh, well, you would have heard that. Um, uh, yes, that's why. Okay, so that's we're not underwater. I think we're just um, you're hearing it all twice. That's what it sounds like in here, basically. It sounds quite loud in here. Um, and that's, this is even before the new speakers have arrived and um, the subwoofer isn't yet plugged in. Uh, so it does sound pretty exciting in here. And actually, um, these French organs are not... Cats are having a scrap. The, these, these, these French organs are not subtle. Um, they do sound in real life very... Not vulgar as such. Not at all vulgar, but um, alive and raw and energetic. So a little bit of a flavour um, as to what it sounds like in the room. <laughs> um, right, so who else? Someone asked for, I, I don't know where who it was, uh, but I think I saw it. It was long ago, proper it's new, which is lucky because it's in here. Let me have a quick scan up to see whether there are any more, um, any more awesome requests from you guys. Um, Mitchell, I should make a video looking at the highs and lows of this instrument. I should, I should, you're absolutely right. The, um, um, the highlights of this organ, there were lots of them. Um, uh, yes, indeed. Where else shall we go? Okay, um, we're still live. Chris Luckenhill, yes, we are. Luckenhill, we are still live indeed. Only for a few more minutes, um, and then we'll actually close. We'll close at uh, on the hour. So, in after about well, two more hymns, and then we'll um, might even have another, another organ piece if you're lucky. Hmm. What should we play? What's a good Advent piece that you haven't yet heard? I think. I'm going to mute the microphone this time. isn't it that? Uh, that was actually something that I learned um, or picked up from Sheffield Cathedral, you know, in between each verse. So you sort of could do this. The C sharp. Uh, but a final verse, why do you do this? Go up instead. Ascend up to heaven, you know. It seems to be a little bit more appropriate than descending down to, well, you know where. Um, <laughs> Um, we sang that some next night in Brighton. Excellent. How did it go, Rob? Did it go well? A good closing voluntary would be 661. Possibly PJ, yes. Okay. Well, I, I haven't played that since um, 2020. So, but I'll give that a go. I don't think it's too difficult, is it? No. We, can, we can just about manage that. Von Himmelhoch, 700. That's Christmas, isn't it? From heaven above to earth I come. Um, P. 
Picardy. Oh, Sawn. Doug, you've requested a letter on Wards of Flesh Keep Silence. Ooh. Why don't we have that? Ord Lang Syne. I'm not quite sure I can remember all the notes. I will do actually. If you can find me the music um, to that um, somehow um, and get it, if you can uh, find a sort of a, just a usable, um, I don't know where it would be. I can probably Google it, I suppose. But um, okay, we'll do that. We'll have old old lang syne uh, for some people. And then we'll have, well, so the, here, here, here is the order. All right, so we'll have one more hymn, which I'm waiting for someone to, to request an absolute, um, the, the, the world's best Advent hymn. I'm not sure what it would be. I'm just waiting for you to, to tell me what it is going to be. Uh, we have to wait until a little bit near Christmas for things like, oh, come on, um, oh, come on, you faithful, and hardly the herald angels sing, because it's not in Christmas just yet. Uh, so we'll wait until near the time for those. Uh, so we one more. Did someone? Yes, let's almost a flesh Picardy. I'm going absolutely mine. Um, it's been a very, very, very long day. Believe me, getting this um, stream ready. Uh, let all mortal flesh keep silence. Two hundred and ninety-five. Um, and then we'll have. Shall we have a look on on, on Google for um, old line sign? Actually, we've got a, a really nice copy somewhere um, because we, we tend to use it at New Year around at Caroline's parents' house, but I don't know where that copy is. I think it's at North Marden um, in um, a very safe place. Let's put it in Old uh, Lang, and then we'll all sing it together. Um, all Lang Syne music. There we go. Um, images. Let's see if we can just find. I don't need the harmony. I just need sort of the notes, and I can just do the harmony myself. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I've got it there. Got it. So here we go. Here's the order of here the order of proceedings to set expectations. Let on mortal flesh. Old line sign, and then BWV 661. How does that sound? Three more ditties, and then we'll wrap up, and then we can go and enjoy our advent <laughs> uh, the rest of our Sunday. So let on mortal flesh. This is an absolute um, my favourite one of my favourite hymns. The words and the, the words and this is so so powerful. Uh, that the powers of hell may vanish as the darkness clears away. That's verse 3. Um, then verse 4 starts, At his feet the six-winged seraph, cherubim with sleepless eye, veil their faces to the presence as with ceaseless voice they cry, Hallelujah, 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 Lord Most High. I can't play the organ with you on there, my darling. You're going to have to just... Um, vacate the keyboard vicinity of the organ. And there are candles up there, so you need to be very careful. So, here we go. Where's my mute? One mute.
actually um, I felt quite emotional during that, realising that this is the, one of the very last times um, I will be playing uh, this organ. I will have to do a highlights uh, video of it um, at some point. Uh, there's a lot of memories on this organ. You know, when I did my um, video that I, you know, where I announced that it was for sale, I was quite emotional even, uh, even announcing that it was for sale. Um, and it was genuine, um, uh, a genuine sadness because this organ really has done a lot for me. Um, you know, I can just imagine myself as a 16 year old boy. Um, you know, coming home from school one day and seeing this in the house as a complete surprise it just it wasn't it wasn't even possible and it's just yeah it's done me it's done me very very proud and i'll be very 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 sad to see it go um as, as i mentioned earlier it is going to a, a very worthy and good home where an organist of um you know a teenager 16 year old lad is getting this organ and it will help him um, on his journey. So I'm really thrilled about that. It's not going onto the scrap heap at all. Um, so, well, so we have the final voluntary, the very final voluntary then. So in a way, this is the, the final piece that we will hear on the organ. We should really end with a uh, toccata or something, but um, we'll, I'll see how I feel after, after this. I might play a very, very short uh, chorale prelude from the Odo Bufline, which is uplifting. Uh, nice way to end, I think they close the chapter on this, uh, on this organ. Okay, so Nunt Comme de Highland Highland uh, BWV 661, this is the, basically, the, there are three uh, versions, uh, three sort of uh, harmonizations, if you like, or variations on Nunt Comme de Highland Highland um, in here. These are called um, um, the uh, this is from the, uh, the Leipzig collection, um, and this is the third. So the third, the first we heard earlier, very quiet, very beautiful. The second uh, is a, is a sort of a trio movement, uh, and the third is this um, one here with the the tune in the pedal. Um, I did record or, or perform all three uh, last year, uh, last Advent. If you want to catch up on all three back to back, uh, they are on the channel. Just go back to December last year, and you'll see them. Be the five hundred and fifty nine to. Uh, sorry, 659 to 661. Okay, so what would we have as, for a registration on this organ for this piece? It's not a, this is not really uh, the sort of organ that this piece was written for. You could you can either make it a, a, try to do an authentic plenum, which I think would not necessarily work very well. Let's, pardon me. <laughs> uh, let's have the mixtures on the uh, the Resi and the Grand Org uh, and the um, basically the loud stuff on the pedal with the couplers. You know, I don't buy into this. Um, you know, some organists don't um, couple the great to the pedal because uh, Bach didn't have a great to pedal coupler. Now, that's not the entire story. <laughs> Bach, there is that um, school of thought that you shouldn't couple the great to the pedal, and it's simply because back in Bach's time, there wasn't a great to pedal coupler on all of the Silverman and other organs. However, pedal divisions would frequently have a, a ginormous mixture on the pedal, which would then match the hoofed work or the house work, whatever it's called. Um, whereas on our English organs today, you know, our fat Harrison, Harrison, and uh, Willis organs, the pedal mixtures are fairly bland in comparison to those North German um, bright mixtures. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about this, to be honest. It's Advent, we don't need to talk about great pedal couplers, do we? Uh, so let's have Nun Common to Highland. Highland. Uh, I think that's probably about right. Let's have, the, the, the positive mixture is, is rather massive, so let's keep that off. Um, do you two mind fighting? Thank you very much. What were the people say? Hey, here we go. Who was it who requested this? JP, I think, wasn't it?
I, remember, I do remember playing that for the very first time at York, December 2007. And when I played it, after I finished it, after even song, uh, that bottom G resonated for ages in, uh, in the Minster. Um, and hopped off the organ bench, and uh, Francis Jackson was just on the stairs. <laughs> he just said, ooh, well done. That's a rather good piece, that. <laughs> yeah, he had, had that talk and, ooh, that, that. Like a proper, um, uh, with all respect, or all due respect, um, like, an, uh, like an old man would. You know, he was in his 90s then. Uh, he's now 104, so that's in, in, incredible. Okay, I'm gonna, I am going to play just one more piece. Uh, one more piece. Someone requested it earlier, and then we will sign off. The von Himmelhoch is not really, um, um, uh, what do you call it, an Advent piece. It's Christmas, but it's jolly, and it's uplifting. Uh, von Himmelhoch, der Komiker, uh, from heaven, heaven on high above. Uh, sorry, from heaven on high I, 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 I come. Um, here we go. You know what? I can't stop. I'm gonna. I am going to give you one more, and it is going to be um, a, a repeat of the Wacket Alf, not a Ruf und die Stimme, BWV 645. I did play it earlier on, so if you were in the congregation earlier, you would have heard it. Um, but it is rather nice, and actually, you, you, your comments were very nice about it. It is. I, I do play it rather quickly. Um, what is it? People have spoken. Oh, crumbs, okay. And I've just come down and rushed down. Oh, God, well done. Fine now. Yeah. I, I've been saying that I'm going to wrap it up about four times now, but I'm just getting so <laughs> carried away with this organ. The chat is, they're getting. Um, so here we go. So we have the buckets out again. If you didn't play Rosie Med. <laughs> well, they're going to hear it anyway at the end because it's, uh, it's tradition. There's, that's the outro. Like to hear it live. Oh, okay. Well, that's pressure, isn't it? So I've just delivered it. <laughs> There's some more good uh, registration changes in that. But okay, we'll work it out.
and so a precautionary D natural in that bar. I played that wrong, uh, 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 note wrong earlier as well. I played, uh, I played a very naughty flat and seventh there rather than a major seventh. Heavens only knows why, because we're in E flat major. Why would you play a D flat twice at the very end when there isn't one written? Well, I could have my guts for garters, as they say. Right, so you would like me to end with um, the Vaughan Williams. Your wish is my command, sir. <laughs> um, I, don't want, I don't want you guys to feel like you're being shortchanged. Uh, so if we go down to Vaughan Williams, three uh, preludes on Welsh hymn tunes, and from Rosie Nedra. Here it is. Okay, so... One thing I'm really looking forward to um, when the new organ arrives, fingers crossed on Thursday, is having, there are lots of stops now that I can't use, simply because they're on the, there isn't enough space on here for them. For example, the Grand Org has three 16 foot flues. I've only got one of them there. I can't use the other ones, and they're really rich and gorgeous. The positive, has um, some beautiful strings. Uh, I don't have a single string stop on the positive, on the choir division here. So I have to press choir uh, six, which brings them on. But no, nothing's lit up. Um, but when the new organ arrives, we won't have any of those issues at all. One thing I did notice, which I know you guys would um, appreciate, or should I say, you wouldn't appreciate. I was playing the, uh, practicing the Vidor earlier, and I, I got to the very end, you know, when the, um, sort of the recap happens and the big tune comes back and it's pretty much full organ. Um, playing that, and I thought, do you know what, my, my, my pedals don't sound very loud. Have I got the 32 foot on? And it was on, but I couldn't hear it. Now something had happened, and it had gone, somehow it just turned itself right down, like it retreated and was going on strike and genuinely thought, look, the guys um, are going to want to hear that 32 foot in the V-door. They will feel short change, they'll run off. They'll run off before I've even finished. You can't have that V-door without the 32. <laughs> um, I've got that subwoofer to hook up. It's a REL G1. Mark two, I think that's right. Um, and it goes down, um, for the people who know about audio, it goes down to 15 hertz. Bottom C on 32 foot. Only those of you with a subwoofer uh, would have heard that properly. Goes down to 16 hertz. So actually we are good to go. If we have a, a, a flat organ, flat, this is a bit flat, um, we will be able just to get down that bottom C on, um, on, on true frequencies. That's exciting. Anyway, let's play this um, English or Welsh piece uh, on a French organ um, in England. So he asks for soft swell eight and four foot. That's very French. There we go. There's another stop I want to have on. I'm having to use, look, I've got my. Um, my iPhone set up here, so I can use it as a touch touch screen. There's a beautiful stop, which is just slightly, I don't know how to pronounce the second word, voix, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it, it slightly undulates. You can just hear it. It actually adds a lot of colour and a lot of warmth to the sound. So we'll have that on with the four foot. Let's have the uh, choir uh, eight foot coupled down uh, to the swell. I should really use the French, the French titles, the positive from the Resi. This pedal, obviously. You know those two notes. Um, you know those two notes because that's when this a stream has finished. Uh, left hand on the on the grand org. Um, well, let's have a really. A uh, beautiful, rich sound there. Everything coupled up. Beautiful. And the positive.
positive. I'm just having a look on here. Look, uh, what else have we got? We've got Mont on the positive. Let's give that, give that off for now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, let's have that. Um, and I think we'll see how we go from there. All right, so for the very last time on this organ, um, the Rosie Major by Vaughan Williams. A lot of people are saying, oh, what was that piece at the end? Well, it's, it's this. There you go. Um, it's rather fun actually uh, registering it on the fly, uh, particularly when you haven't necessarily got all the stops um, shown here. They're all hidden away behind 
the turn not monitor over there. It's like, oh. Um, but I think that was the final piece that you'll hear me play, I'm Miss Orban. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today uh, your uh, introduction to Advent, so we can uh, now start to enjoy Advent. Advent has now started um, virtual church on um, next Sunday. We'll fingers crossed be on the new organ, um, although it could well not be. It could be on a little Casio keyboard. <laughs> Don't know. That would be rather hilarious, wouldn't it? Uh, we did virtual church with no organ. <laughs> I've got quite a few little MIDI keyboards. Um, we could, uh, oh, I don't know, I have to think of something. Uh, anyway, thank you all so much uh, for watching and for your donations. I haven't been able to keep track of who's been donating tonight. Um, but if you have, thank you very much. Um, if you are able to and you are not already, please do consider becoming a patron um, because that is how um, uh, I get basically the most support for this channel and it really helps to build the channel. I hope you can see the fruits of um, your support. The new organ, main thing, uh, and also of course going to um, cathedrals uh, and churches and chapels to record real organs uh, in the highest quality um, to bring them to you. Um, the 280 uh, people watching right now uh, I'm going to let you guys into a little secret. Um, I will probably announce this in the new year, uh, but next year we have confirmation uh, from <laughs> the cathedrals of uh, Lincoln, uh, Chichester, and Salisbury uh, that we will go and record. So uh, just like we did in um, Gloucester a few weeks ago, and the upcoming St Edmundsbury Cathedral, the Christmas Virtual Church and Christmas Organ Recital, we shall be going to Salisbury, Chichester, and to Lincoln. So three um, spectacular cathedrals that are coming your way. And I can genuinely, hand on heart, only do that um, with your help. So that's why I say, please support me, because then I can bring you all these uh, amazing cathedrals and architectures. Um, so there we go. The epistle endeth here. Here ends the reading. <laughs> the lesson, should I say. Good night, everyone. Um, happy Advent. Um, you will now hear the Vaughan Williams once again on a very old recording that I did um, on, uh, was it Rotterdam or was it even before I had Rotterdam? Might have even been three sack. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, you'll hear it again, an opportunity, an opportunity for you to say goodbye to your colleagues, uh, friends and fellow congregation members. Good night, everyone. Take care. Happy Advent and uh, stay safe. Cheerio.